Kaiju beware! The newest Jaeger pilot in Pacific Rim Uprising is one of the film's biggest heroes, and she packs a punch. Bad news for anybody who thought the apocalypse was really canceled. If you've seen any of the footage from Pacific Rim Uprising, you already know. The Kaiju are back and they are ready to rumble! Once again, protecting Earth from the Kaiju threat is the PPDC and their core of giant fighting Jaegers, plus a new generation of pilots led by John Boyega's Jake Pentecost, the son of Stacker Pentecost from the first film. Today we are canceling the apocalypse! Yeah, again, not canceled. Jake's most promising pupil, Amara Namani. I sat down with the cast to take a look at this newcomer's journey, but to do that, we're gonna have to pilot these Jaegers a straight into the breach. Spoiler territory, so if you're trying to avoid that kind of thing, now would be a great time to punch that eject button. The bomb is spoilers. Amara is such a cool badass. She uh, kind of fits in with all these classic Hollywood action heroines. And she's so smart and educated and holds her own so well and doesn't take no for an answer. How smart is Amara really? Well, she's a self-taught engineer who built her own Jaeger from scratch using scavenged components. Now, I actually heard that you built part of the scrapper that was used on set. I was trying to wrap my head around how a 15-year-old girl would make something this spectacular. So met with the people who are physically building her and so I put the whole welding mask on and got to weld a piece. I had no idea that was gonna happen, but it was super fun. It was actually on this um, circular thingy. That thing, um, you made that thing? I, I don't know if that is the one, but I, I like, I put some of the metal pieces on it, which was fun. I loved your dynamic with Kaylee. Oh yeah, yeah. What do you feel that Amara brought to this film? Um, it's a funny thing, you know, also producing that was involved in the casting process. And so while we were looking for, for someone to fill these boots, we've got Kaylee's audition tape. Her eyes don't lie, they're literally connected to her emotion that she just knows how to conjure up in a moment. She's a great actress, she has a great bright future. It was great. Yeah. You two were drift compatible both on screen and I guess off. Oh yeah, yeah, that's my um, little sis. The dynamic between Jake and Amara was so, just such a heart of this film. She was, uh, she was a really late Dark Horse um, addition to the casting process. Um, she had like practically no credits, never done a, a, a big movie or really any movie. When, when John and Kaylee did their scene together, there was a, a chemistry and, and a real spark. We rolled the dice and I'm so glad we did because she was, she was fantastic. She's, she's badass, she's human, she's relatable. I can't wait for the world to be exposed to Kaylee's man. But what do you think? If you built a Jaeger, what would you name it? And will Amara and Scrapper be enough to kick some kaiju butt and send them back to the breach? Let's discuss. Anyway, thank you for watching. Tag your drift partner in the comments. And until the next time, evil interdimensional beings send genetically engineered mega monsters to come make a big mess, remember to join us at Nerdist.com. For everything you've got!